Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Bale Fire Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, or Red Eye Mocha Lover, really. And right now, we are, well, kind of struggling. Well, not really struggling, but we have all of our divisions in our capital surrounded by um, demilitarized zones because I accidentally put my soldiers over there when we decided to burn the Ever Free, as someone did point out in yesterday's video. I kept saying Ever Tree for some reason. I'm thinking of trees, you know, Ever Tree, Evergreens, but it's Ever Free. For us. But it's time to do another focus. We shall do one goal because we can. Even though we lose, well, we get quite a bit of stuff. But regardless, unfortunately, not every pony is willing to do their part. Some ponies are selfish without any care at all for their fellow equine. Or equine. Do we simply let them go about their way? Let them contribute nothing towards our great vision? Of course not. These are the same types of ponies who have created the world we live in today, who have failed to restore even a semblance of proper nation over the last 200 years. They shall be made to help us accomplish our vision, regardless of whether or not they are willing. So be it. We do have 332 political power, and I did ask you guys yesterday, who should we get as a political advisor? And there is quite a bit of support for Parcel Stamp, so we shall choose Parcel Stamp right now. And maybe eventually we'll start coring some more stuff. I do want to get down a little bit more of the focus tree for first. Not foist, but first. Core, let's see. We already cored some territories there. We have that one, of course, non-core manpower, non or pony power, I should really say. Send kids to school. Oh, actually, maybe I should rush this one. That probably would be good to do, actually. We get three places to become cores, not bad. Over here, claims and war goal on their core territories. Doesn't mean we get cores, though. And over there as well, and then down here, oh. More territory, more territory. City never sleeps, adds cores on the main Hatton and Canterlot regions. Dragon's Den. Very nice. I, I'm, I think I'm going to like this focus tree a lot because there's a lot of um, enclave holdings, cores, and just warfare focus. But let us continue the campaign. So right now, let's see. We have every cap for the army. We let time go on. We're training a good amount of soldiers. Actually, our soldiers currently, our Raider Warband soldiers, 16 combat width because we have our land auction that reduced the size of our infantry by 0.4 per battalion. So very nice. Oh, we can actually get some tribal stuff. Actually, tugboat holes. Has anything changed here that from Old World Blues? Not too much. Secondary engines, refurbished tankers, and that's totally okay. Totally okay. Let's see. 10% more. Oh, isn't it? I think in Old World Blues, low caliber ammunition is only 5%. This is remaining the same for fire teams. If it's 10%, I think I like that one quite a bit more. But maybe that's just me. Unity declared war on the ever free dogs, as well as the Plains Raiders and Gorgetown, and the Republic. Well, okay, and we are allied with them. They are, a unity pact is us, and we are allied with them. We will have to take out the Grand Pegasus Enclave, which is totally cool, and another research slot. Let's get some frequency analysis. Followed up with Old Appaloosa. Old Appaloosa has been a major part of that question slave trade for a long time now, in fact. We've been a long time customer of theirs. However, our relationship has strictly been that of buyer and seller, that is, until now. Red Eye has ordered that we take a far greater increase or interest in the affairs of our southern trading hub, investing in its well being and seeking out connections among the most influential of ponies. Very, very nice. We'll go buy some slaves from them? That, consumer goods 5%. Send some equipment. We get 1,000 slaves. We have high or absolute. We got acquired pure IMP samples. Attack the outskirts between deep grass and Philly banks. So it's over here. Oh, and we actually have some of our soldiers over here, which isn't bad, but oh my goodness. Philadelphia contingent. Power armor. Oh my goodness. And we only have a thousand slaves. Four settlements. Hmm. Test. Ooh. How much, how much do we have here? Oh, we're actually doing okay. Okay, so they're going to war with everyone. Hmm. All right. All right. So be it. Let's see. We'll do that, and we'll do that up there. Cool. Even more of this stuff. Do we need more military factories? Yes, Arenos. So let's throw on a, th a slap of this. There you go. One more. Not a lot more, but at least it's one more. And we'll choose someone else here. Alicorn Slaver. I like the construction speed. This is not too bad. I don't mind losing a little bit of stability for research or construction speed. Oh, they declared war on the lightning scavengers. Sadistic slaver. Oh, I like that one too, though. Population growth and lose consumer goods factories or less consumer goods factories and stability. I'm going to go with that one. We can maybe trade them out later on, but that's totally okay with us. We could help out, but there's not really much we can do about this for now, so. Ah, new dawn in the Everfree. 
What was once the ever-free forest was now a smoldering field of ash filled with bones of the beasts that failed to flee from the fires. Now, this area was much easier to clear out, and Red Eye has made orders that this newly cleared area to be swept and settled. More and more, the former ever tree was converted to shanty towns for the populace, both slaver and slave, and more industrial workshops are being propped up, and there's still a lot more room to expand. It was all good for Red Eye, all at the expense of some troublesome forest. Send in the settlers. Ooh, no longer need militarized. Gets more pony power. Very nice. And I do have a cup of coffee here. Full mountain gems. If you would like to read about this, go right ahead. Old Appaloosa. Expand our reach. Gain 5,000 slaves. An offer of guarantee of independence was accepted. Cool. Send the kids to school. We can't just mine out the caravans while the kids are still living in them. We will round them up and move them someplace safe, while they can still be given a proper education and upbringing. Soon enough, they will be prepared to become a part of a new world which we are building. They lose, or full mountains lose pony power. We get 10 production of crystals. Nice. And get through more cores. Don't mind if we do. Let's go and do this. So everyone here, come on over. Have a good old time. Training me to main Hatton Raiders declare war on Marlum. Sounds a little familiar. And you guys are headed securing old Appaloosa. We received word from Consecutia. Consecutia. The Alicorn we sent over to so oversee our interest in old Appaloosa that she has already settled in nicely, and that the former leader of the slavers, their steel shackles, will no longer be a hindrance to our vision. Already we've seen an increase in the number of slaves coming from Appaloosa, and with the nexus of the question slaves right now under our command, we can expect that to grow even more. Well, okay then. Hey, we get him as a subject. Awesome. Sure, why not? I'll take him as a subject. Maybe they can supply us with a few more slave boys and girls? Slaves? Slavery, yes? Ya order nine. All right, so let's go and do this. We got enough political power because we get about oh, two point seven five a day. Gosh darn! And slay the conquered population. Oh yeah. And we're gonna attack the outskirts. Now we might not be able to win. We might be able to. We might not be able to. Take a look at our guys again. They have anti tank, which is super, 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 super duper important. And let's go ahead and do the attack. Now can we win here? Maybe we should have used our talents actually. Yeah, we probably should have. Even if we lose, you know, it is what it is. What matters is that we go to war with them. And actually, to do so, All Out War has lost three times in a row. Maybe we'll just justify on them instead. We could help out our ally against all these people. But what happens if she loses? Or the Unity loses? Hmm. I kind of want to see what happens, but expand our reach. The nations around us are directly opposed to our expansion. They believe that they can stand against the tides of the future or define their eventual fates. We should show them how wrong they are by raiding their lands with impunity. If nothing else, the new slaves will provide a valuable contribution to our efforts. 5,000 slaves, don't mind if we do. Ranger Toon Coats. So, how long would it take for me to just find you guys? It shouldn't be too long, right? Nah, it's not bad. 75 days. I'd rather do that than waste time with three border wars. One border war is enough, especially if we don't win, so... Looking not too bad right there. And, very nice. Yeah, we're not going to win that one, which is fine. You know, things happen. Red Eye Border War, we lost some political power, but honestly, I'm not too concerned about that. Alright. Very, very good. We'll have the war ready to go soon enough. Four more divisions, don't mind if we do. And actually, how many guns do we have? Oh, wait, what the heck? Tw oh, you have Oh. There you go. Actually, send one more back there, so, so they're filled up completely. What was I saying? Border war won't be too bad. Low caliber ammo, HMGs, why not? We're already working on this stuff. Actually, no, let's grab some rocket launchers just in case. Because they do have power armor, and I don't know how thick their armor is. It could be very, very incredibly strong. But you know what? If the Unity dies, is that a bad thing? It might be. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Backyard workshops, don't mind if we do. Lose 3,000 slaves. I kind of want to test this. Four settlements, lose 2,000 slaves, extra stuff to the ponies. Now, I think we're kind of okay. I would like more slaves, but maybe that's just me. Mm, bricks? Yes, please. Construction? We already built that, those military factories. Nice. Very good, very good, very good. Uh, ah, level. Yep. That's not bad. Alicorn equipment. We now host the Unity as a government in exile. Expand our reach. After the capitulation of the Unity, we're now the leaders of the Unity Pact. Nice. And that's how you get rid of your enemies. <laughs> Some of them. New Appaloosa? So, old, though old Appaloosas are closest ally in the south, it would be foolish of us to neglect their northern neighbors. We shall seek to further our trade ties with New Appaloosa. While we're at it, we will also seek to sway them to our way of thinking. Also, I keep calling this one wrong. Um, it's not Robco, it's 
Ro Bronco. That was my fault. I keep mess. I kept mince, mince, mispronouncing that name. Uh, attaché departs. Oh, that's true. With the destruction of her most trusted ally, the goddess, her great unity of alicorns now wander aimlessly across the wasteland. Without the goddess to command them, the group of detaches she sent to us have now departed silently into the night, scattered across the wasteland. Maybe it was a bad thing to have her die. Yeah, maybe it was a bad thing. Well, whatever, you know. But we saw the soldiers. And that's the most important thing. Research advisor, we'll do that one probably last. Battle hardened soldiers. We're just gonna go with military academy officers, because that makes most sense for us. Chain legions. And, oh, actually, we just got more soft attack, less hard attack, more recruitable population factor, but a little bit less output, which is fine. Bread for war, more population, more multi-population. Don't mind if we do. Seriously, don't mind if we do. Like, that's really nice. <laughs> Expand the... Uh, oh, she... Mm, okay, I'll, I'll take it. Again. Do we, we seriously get that back? Yeah, we did. She's gone, but... <clears throat> maybe that's a little bit of a bug. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Three, two, good enough, let's go. Now, no one's attacking us yet. They have a single division here. Can you win? Yes. Uh, you'll be alright. So, we are wow. Yes, we are wow. Alright, now let's attack the front line. The bloody army. Oh, look at that! New Meroe actually beat the bloody army. The failure of Blood Mane. Red Eye sat there, his head held firmly within his four hooves. Despite having more than enough soldiers and guns generously provided by himself, the bloody army still had somehow managed to fail. How exactly they'd been beaten back by the likes of New Meroway was a total mystery, yet New Meroway was still fall. If not at the hooves of Blood Mane, then by the hooves of Red Eye himself. Lifting his head up, Red Eye prepared to send out the necessary orders. New Meroway would be his. New Appaloosa. Oh, uh, are we missing something? Oh, we're missing. Oh, that's not good. Slaver Network. Oh, weekly pony power and decryption power. <coughs> nice. The slave trade is booming all across the wasteland, with us becoming the number one customer for all slaver operations. Each and every day, hundreds of souls are traded. Most of them will someday end up in our city, where they are unlikely to ever leave. Now, it's time for us to do an agency, because I'm feeling pretty good about how many civilian factories that we do have. So let me know, is Rook a good enough name, or should we have something else? I'll, I like to leave it up to you guys, just because some of you, sometimes you guys come up with really interesting names. And some of you guys definitely know the content of Fallout Equestria much better than I do, so. Philadelphia Contingent. Beautiful. Now nah, we're good. And are they still fighting somebody? Ah, uh, that new Canterlot Republic, the NCR. Hello, Consequita. Consequitia. Consequitia. My, I need to go back to, like, grammar school or something. Enslave them? To enslave them is to save them. Enslave them? Why not? I could use more slaves. Is, is there any point to even test them anymore? Because we already have pretty much what we need from them. So, I don't think so. But I'm going to put you guys over here just in case. I'm going to leave the other army over here too. Because you never know if you might just get a little raided. Which is not very cool. Nice. All ranger your turncoats. Great. So if you want to do that, go right ahead. Cool. We have 40 days left, and then we'll do Rebuilding Equestria. Cancel Lundley's Birth of a New Nation, and then we'll do maybe the Single Pegasus Project. Too Much of a Monster. The Stable Dweller. Finding or find a suitable Pegasus. And a Rising Phoenix. Arcane Science declared one of the Lightning Scavengers, eh? Alright, cool. Good luck. Good luck to all. Hope you all don't die. Too, too, too much of a terrible death. Uh, Ninja, we do have Recon, so we might as well do that one then. That's fine. Anyone else have upgrades? Oh, Black Law, you have more? Level 5, of course. Life, oh, screw it, we'll do Life Giver. I don't want to see that one anymore. And then Marble Bones, what do you have? Local Leader's not bad. Awareness, um, I'm going to go with... Eh, I'll do Awareness. A night person. Rebuilding Equestrium. Equestrium wasn't built in a day. Nor will it be built, rebuilt in one. We must take small steps towards achieving this noble goal, putting one hoof ahead of the other until we one day reach a world where our opponents can once more enjoy the boons of harmony and peace. Absolutely. Alright, you guys go there. Nice, nah, we're almost filled up with that army. You guys looking not too bad. Let's go ahead and make sure that these guys are extra thick. Actually, you know what? We already, well, we did put on more infantry. We get, if I put on one more, that'd be 20.8. So if I remove that... So we can afford one more... Demo teams... Uh, what do we want? That gives you 11 more soft attack and 2 breakthrough, while this gives you 12 more soft attack and 11 breakthrough. And this doesn't give you any more defense. Honestly, like, this gives you more defense. This gives you a little bit more breakthrough. 
Um, the same amount of soft attack though. Like, man, 17.6, 19.2, and actually, if you just do that, you get even more defense. You get a. <sighs> actually, you're gonna throw in a militia. No, that'd be, that'd be kind of cool though. Hmm, 19.2 versus 19.6. You lose the organization. You get seven more breakthrough. Is it worth it? For minus twenty production costs, plus one point nine soft attack, and seven more breakthrough. Honestly, in my mind, not really. So there we go. Ah, an operative. Pear blossom counterintelligence. Don't mind if we do. That seems pretty good to us. Former department. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, hello. I was not expecting this. Is it just them or? Yeah, it is, up to 15 divisions. Okay, well, they're going to be swarming around here. I'm not even going to move these guys. Get up to the line, do what we have to do. HMGs, why not? Oh, we need to pull some more Peaky Pop. Ah, uh, the NCR editor won the Neo Castle Slavers. Oh. Just going to... Oh. Um, ah, uh, the NCR. I knew you'd come for me eventually. One, two, three, four... Oopsie. There you go. There you go. Good luck. And let's head on in. Alright, so we've lost. We have 61 divisions, they have 15. What is their strength like? Win some Republic, huh? Former department. Not that much. Rebuilding Equestria is very nice, though. The Stable Dweller. Let's do that one first. Why not? The Stable Dweller has proven herself to be a truly remarkable character within the Wasteland. Her port potential is vast, and perhaps she is just what we are looking for to join us within the new unity. Well, yep, it seems appropriate for we do the NCR, so let's watch out for spies as well. Neo Castle Slavers are gone. Oops, I didn't click on that. I meant to click on this one. Send volunteers. They're justifying on me, but um, they sent me volunteers. Also, this is actually really cool what the devs did with the portrait here. She blinks. And she turns her head. Oh, is she? G Gaudina Grimfeather. So, I thought that was pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Pretty neato to me. Enslave? Yes, please. Open Red Eyes School for grif Gifted Creatures. Though we firmly believe that Equestria is a pony nation, we have no intention of leaving the other races sitting in the ashes of the old world. We shall found an institution of higher learning within Philadelphia, which will seek out those promised, promising individuals of all races and provide them with all the resources and knowledge necessary to advance our, and understand our understanding of the world. In this way, those creatures who show merit may find a place in our new world. I get a research slot? Yeah. Restore Hazard Mining Corporation. Or Incorporated. Hazard Mining Inc. was a major mining co company during the Great War. It was directly responsible for the majority of mining across the Western Heartland. It was a key part of the war effort. Many of our old facilities, mines, and equipment are still just lying around. It wouldn't be that difficult to pick, simply pick up where they left off. More extraction research. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, why not? We'll try that. <clears throat> Restore the Hippocampus Energy. It was Equestria's leading electric company both before and during the war. After the nation's energy needs increased, so did too the governmental pressure on Hippo Hippocampus. Ultimately, this led to the company being brought up by a subsidi subsidiary of the Ministry of Wartime Technology. Their operations were only expanding drastically from there, and they soon be had a presence in just about every town in Equestria. We've already been utilizing several of their power plants across Philadelphia, and it wouldn't be too difficult to formally reopen the company. Ooh. Why not? We have them. Rebuild the... Oh, we need to control more areas. New Merway, too. Ah, yeah. New Merway. <clears throat> Not bad. Now we good. And time to have a sip of our coffee. Hey, oh no, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Well, okay. Well, let's make sure we actually have some air bases around here. Wow, we have t exactly 21,000. That's not bad. So we'll put some there. We'll put some there. Definitely you guys up top, though. And keep building some more uh, military factories, because we are pretty good on civilian factories. 15, 15, 15, 15. Not bad, if I do say so myself, my friends. Oh, uh, the Winsome Republic. I was really not expecting that at all. So, what we're going to do is this. Actually. Did, oh, no, it wasn't our guys. It was New Appalousia. Rail right. Wow. And that's a generic focus, too, which is totally fine. We have her, of course, in which base camp looks relatively generic-ish, maybe? Okay, cool. I definitely have to play as the NCR in this mod. I have to. At least once, right? At least once. Take the Pominence Pominsula. Pincer the Sunrise Region. 
Ten Pony Tower. So, yeah, I'm gonna have you guys come on down here just in case. Miniature circuitry is very nice. Long range radio, don't mind if we do. And watch out for spies, cool. Any partisan stuff, bricks. Well, let's finally do some improvised tools. That would probably be pretty good, right? Root out resistance where? Probably where we just conquered, actually. That's fine. No chief of navy, no military high command. Naval designer, not really important. Uh, let's go take equipment, because we might get some scrap tanks eventually, so. So we might want to get some APCs as well. That would not be a bad idea. So you guys are still here. I'm going to put you guys over somewhere else, because we still might get raided, so good luck. Lightning scavengers, cool. Any partisan stuff, awesome, awesome, awesome. Become a spy master, might as well. And invisible ink, because we can. The stable dweller, two reports sit before Red Eye, both describing the same extraordinary mare and her equally extraordinary feats. The so called stable dweller was quickly making a name for herself across all of the wasteland with her adventures. The first report he had received a while ago. It detailed a small band of warriors led by a stable pony who had caused great trouble to old Appaloosa, and now they were far less willing to sell slaves to him due to the recent loss of their own. The second report detailing this very same group have been, having been spotted around Shattered Hoof, and having been involved, was slaying a dragon that had apparently been living under the facility. They also had played a role in foiling his plans to seize control of the facility. Despite, despite causing such trouble for him, he couldn't help but to find himself impressed. The stable dweller could prove to be very useful. It could convince her to work alongside him. Perhaps he could even serve as his unicorn candidate, but he was getting himself ahead of getting ahead of himself. He could deal with her later. For now, there was work to be done. An increasing or interesting pony indeed. Followed with now we haven't done too much here. We could get more weekly pony power, but we're doing pretty well already. I'm not too worried about that at all. The strong will lead is not bad. I want to keep doing this stuff as fast as possible. A new unity? Oh, the Lightbringer's died. Oh. Too much of a monster, huh? Since he first left Stable 101, Red Eye's been responsible for many terrible things. Atrocities against Pony Kind, which are unforgivable in the eye of most, his soul is simply too tainted to be a part of the new world. The necessary preparations he would have to be made ahead of his ascension so that one more worthy could be could continue his work. Not bad, not bad. So I'll take you, and you guys go right there, and it's time for a new army. Nice. Equal whip. Equal pleasure. I already do catch a lot. Too much of a monster. Oh, and there they go. So then we have Ministry of Arcane Sciences, eh? Visible Ink. Mystery Knight. And there they go. Oh, of course. Wait, did they. Oh, NCR Rangers. Okay. I'll get some plant cultivation. Um. Brawn Eater. Huh. <laughs> Reward. Reward? Reward loyal raiders. Well then, NCR, what are you up to? Yes, three, two, good enough for me. Let's go. Do we have any other... Yes, we do. We have a hundred more. Not bad. Pretty good. Now, do they attack us? Can we attack them and do well? Uh, somewhat. Pretty much across the line, except over here. For some reason, we couldn't win. So far, so good. We cut those guys off, actually, which is pretty nice. The NCR. What do they have? NCR Department of Research and Development. Provisional Army of the Republic. Federal Labor and Workforce Development Agency. And the New Canterlot Cooperative Development Fund. Okay, interesting. They have up to 135 divisions, 6 to 12,000 manpower, so not too bad, and up to 135 divisions, like I said earlier. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Mm, more liability. Let's see. 333. 10%. Okay, so let's get as much soft attack at this point. Instead of it being 5% like in Old World Blues, in Balefire Blues, it's 10% right now. I love it. I love b shattering enemies. Wow, we've killed off 10, 11,000? <clears throat> the old Appaloosa slavers, hopefully you hold on. Because we are doing an extreme amount of damage. Holy bad words. First Lake. Heavyweight. Yes, please. Um, sure for now. Like, we are just saying hello, goodbye, I'm um, enslave you, and HMI Crystal Slaves, we believe that we've discovered several promising deposits of crystals, but we're unable to easily reach them. Thankfully, HMI is here to save the day. Yes, please. The April Grove Mine. It was once one of Equestria's most productive iron mines. In fact, it was so rich in metals that it had sustained a mining settlement for over two centuries. We will squeeze it dry of all its special metals for use in our efforts to build a better world. 
rebuilding the dam. Before the war, Equestria relied heavily on coal to fill the majority of its energy needs. There were many attempts to try to find an alternative source of energy from the so-called air parks to attempts at drawing power from the sun itself. One of these attempts came in the form of the Hippocampus Dam, a massive wall of concrete that could draw power from water. Unfortunately, it was found too inefficient and abandoned shortly after its completion. Unlike those ponies of the old world, we understand the value of even the smallest bit of electricity and consider reopening the dam to be a high priority. <clears throat> Whenever I read about a dam, now I always think of the Gibraltar Dam in TNL. Too much of a monster, though. Victory was in, within Red Eye's grasp, and yet the thought did not fill him with joy or elation. Rather, he could only feel sorrow at all that had been given, all that had been sacrificed, so many lives destroyed, so many ponies enslaved, so many atrocities committed, all to reach this point. Looking to his side, he found a protege standing next to him. Faithful protege, a shining example of the type of pony he needed, one that followed his vision but still held their optimism for the future. And appropriate to his name, the exact pony would lead to the effort to rebuild Equestria. Protege, the stallion in question looked towards Red Eye at the mention of his name. Before too long, unity will be accomplished, and from there a new world will be made. However, I won't be the one to make it. Where I continue, no, I was never going to be the one to rebuild the world. How can, how could I be? I'm the very image of all that is wrong with it, the very icon of the suffering it inflicts. Our new Equestria will have no place for ponies like me, protege. When I ascend, I would like you to pick up the torch, to see Equestria rebuilt, to bring about a new world. It would be an honor, Master Red Eye. We said on the lake, West would not be bad. New schools, we probably need to do that too, but a rising phoenix, Philadelphia had come a long way. From little more than raider occupied ruins to a proper thriving city, it had been completely transformed under Red Eye's rule. Soon enough, all of Equestria would undergo a similar transformation. My goodness, we are just like looking at them and just demolishing them. I love I love the plans that we got. I'm not sure what else to say, but we have a roaming army. Uh, that's okay, that's not great. Pressed into service, more non or pony power, less division organization. And the more breakthrough in max speed. Now I like the breakthrough, but a secure home front. Better or better resistance target for us. Division depends on core territory. Leg organization, a little bit less speed, but more max entrenchment. More organization, more entrenchment, even more planning speed. I like that planning speed in defense. But it is my opinion that we're going to be the offense so much that we're going to do unending offensive. A roaming army. Because once we do a secure home front, that sounds like we're setting up shop. We're no longer expanding. We're no longer going to try to go out and destroy other enemies and such like that. So, And we don't want to end up like the Roman Empire like that. So we're going to keep expanding our borders no matter what happens. Old Appaloosa Slavas. What a shame. Um, No? Can't go that way, huh? Can you guys get across the river here, maybe? That'd be kind of nice. You guys keep going, though. See what you can do. There you go. There you go. There you go. And we're going to be right next to Navarro. I'll let you guys go right here once you take the tile, of course. Thank you. Or not. All right, go head on over here, then. Equal whip. Watch out. Inspirational. Don't mind it if we do. More attack. Yes, please. Now, I mean, this is... This is just delightful. And we've killed 45,000. I'm going to assume it's the planes and all, but my goodness, this is a very destructive episode for us. Not really destructive, but we're decimating. We're, we're doing worse than decimating the NCR. Oh, hello. Navarro. Wait, why do, you, why do you want to go to war with me? Autumn Leaf is kind of scary looking. Not going to lie. What does he have planned? I don't know, but I don't want to know. Actually, we probably do. Cool. Let's go and just build up more stuff here. Resource-wise, we'll be fine. Oh, yeah, and the, the ring of forts, too. That's nice. Boom, 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 boom. Very good. Another division. So I'll, I'll call you all down, then. You can help, like, station yourselves over here or something. There you go. Long-range radio. Let's get some more radio. Or, not radio. Airplane bases. And maybe a few more things like this. Boom, there you go. Six more. Not bad. Good, good, good. If they go to war with us, actually, how strong are they? 64 divisions, 2 to 3,000 manpower. I'm not too concerned then. Maybe a little bit, but not too much. Alright, let's grab some side channel attack. That's good. If that's the case, I'm going to actually send you guys this way then. There you go. Just in case for now. Because we're doing a really good time. Oh, Appaloosa is slowly losing. 
A rising phoenix looking at the ports before him, Red Eye couldn't help but be impressed. Productivity was higher than ever. Slave morality rates this month were lower than expected, and much progress had been made towards, re made towards rebuilding the world. Another stepping stone on the road towards his dream, a dream of the new Equestria. A dream that was rapidly becoming a reality. With every factory restored, with every section of the city reclaimed, Equestria grew closer and closer to being rebuilt. Soon a day would come when the horrors he had brought about would no longer be needed. A day when ponies could live, work, and frolic without fear or suffering of death. Yes, that dream would soon be real. The industry of Philadelphia would be become the very first stepping stone of rebuilding the world. Soon, Ponykind could once again exist and live in harmony. From the ashes, Ponykind rises. A suitable, find a suitable Pegasus. Pegasi are hard to come by under the cloud cover. This unfortunately presents a problem for Red Eye, as it would be necessary to obtain a Pegasus for new unity. He would have to try to lure one down from the perch on the clouds. Alternatively, there has been a rumors of a Pegasus slave within Philadelphia. Surely these claims are just hearsay, but on the off chance that there's some truth to them, maybe. Improvise tools to re rebuild the dam. I thought I'd click on that. Okay, whatever. Maybe I didn't. My bad. I've only killed 52,000 of them off. Is that all? All right, time for basic tools. Yeah, so you guys are doing very well. New Cantalot will be ours. And we should be able to capitulate them relatively soon-ish, I'd assume, right? Oh, man, some of you guys need some serious upgrades. You're really lacking some of your equipment, aren't you? There you go. Sustained pressure, not bad, not bad. Incinerators? Aw, oh, yeah. Come on, keep going, guys. They have how many divisions? Up to 46 left. They're only halfway to dying. Well, that's not good enough. Side channel attack. How about we get some more encryption? And more coffee. How are we already over half an hour in this video? It makes no sense to me, man. Happy 1241, though. Alright, let's see. Eh, light ship. I don't like the less range, but it doesn't really matter. There you go. And they went to war with us. Army Group North declared war in Portsmouth. Oh! Oh, what the heck happened? They went to war with everyone. Holy crud. Oh, that is so not good. That is so not good. I was not expecting this. Um... Oh, were you guys not going down there at all or something? I need you guys to do whatever you can down here. Can you guys actually win, maybe? Yes? Oh, you guys are pretty quick, though. That's pretty good. Yes, that's fine. Well, this is not a very good war for us to be in right now. Enclave strikes New Appaloosa. New Appaloosa has been attacked by the Enclave. This makeshift town has proven no match for the might of the Enclave's cloud ships, uh, suffering heavy damage and casualties only after a few minutes of being under barrage. The, delay, the attack lasted for hours, with much of the settlement being reduced to nothing but scrap and rubble. Such hard traps wouldn't break lesser ponies, but the surviving residents of the town have already set about rebuilding their former home with a newfound determination. This atrocity must not go unpunished. Alright, so at this point... Are we actually losing here? Holy bad words. Oh, we can't even pierce them. We got an anti tank right? It says 40 if I squint in very, very closely. Alright, so we gotta finish this war up right now. Like, you need to go. G-O. Go, 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 go. We gotta win this war now. Because they're spreading through here like a cancer. Alright, you guys, you gotta force the attack. You gotta win, 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 win. Because I... I've never seen this. Oh, they're out of manpower. Pony power. Actually. <clears throat> they have a lot of different type of di division templates. I thought we would have to wait a little bit longer before we had to end up fighting these guys, but hey, whatever. That's the case. Go ahead and hold and do whatever we have to do to finish this war off. Here, box. Doing a good job. Bloody mess. No thanks. Ner nerd rage. Might as well. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get down to Desert Gate. Very sandy down here. Quite sandy. Okay. Uh, the NCR should capitulate soon-ish. New Mango? I almost said New Mariposa. Alright, so you guys. Uh, just doing these folks. They're doing actually a really good job. I mean, they we had to force the attack, but we're doing okay. Are we getting attacked anywhere else? No? Good. Awesome. Look at all... Actually... Um, who's actually over here? Uh, Army Group North, Navarro, Army Group Center. Okay, not bad, not bad. That's fine, yeah. 
Are we really out of guns? We oh infantry armor, that's what's up. Mm, there you go. And CR Rangers has capitulated good. The third ingredient, Red Eye's plans were close to being realized. However, one key issue was still had to be solved. He left a Pegasus to join him in Unity. A unicorn would be easy to find. Half the ponies down here were unicorns after all. A Pegasus, however, that would be much trickier. Pegasi were few and far between down the cold cl cloud layer. These so-called Dashites were rare and spread very far apart. Then again, there were rumors of a Pegasus within the ranks of his own slaves, though he had not seen this slave for his, with his own eyes. There was still a possibility that he could he should consider. Alternatively, he could attempt to find above a cloud Pegasus to join him. Though getting his hooves on one may not be the easiest task, it still, still could certainly be done. Red Eye ponders the possibilities for a while before deciding to prepare to acquire an enclave Pegasus. Oh, well, we begin the single Pegasus project. Great pillars jut out from the ground, towering over the questioning wasteland and stretching through the cloud layer above. The lower levels of these towers are well known to what Red Eye, after all, they had proven themselves for both observation and radio broadcasting. However, the upper levels have always remained sealed off to them. We believe that we may have a way through, as we have traced an underground line from one of these towers to the ruins of Cantralot. There we believe we may find answers to the purpose of these towers within the old Ministry of, of Awesome Hub. Good. Okay, so you guys did a great job. You guys are looking sort of bloody, bloodied up, but hey, you did a great job. And these rangers have been defeated, and we rescued our state down here, which is awesome. Now... NCR should capitulate quite soon, honestly. Like, I'm surprised that they actually sort of haven't already, but whatever. Good, good, good. Black Claw, you have anything else? Aqua Boy Girl is not really worth it right now, so... Okay. New Canterlot Republic. Man, this one takes... This takes quite a while to capitulate them. That's alright, so you guys are done. Which means... So we have you guys over here. Navarro. And they have... Ah, oh, it's up there too. They're fighting up there. Which is totally fine. Totally, 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 totally fine. You guys get over here and help crush the Shattered Hoof. Y'all just... Oh, man, that is not looking good, is it? New Mango, not bad, not bad. Come on, get in there, get in there. Everyone wants a non-aggression pact? I don't think so. There we go. Oh, hello, where are we going? New Merway's gone. Oh, crap, that is not ideal. All right then. I didn't. Really, I forgot that they were war those guys. Uh, if that's the case. I'm gonna have to send you guys over here too then. Cause we can beat these guys down. I'm pretty confident that we can. Well, this is not good. Get another division. Not bad. Throw you right there. That's good. So, Navarro's left with 3,000 casualties. Obviously not enough. They probably have a lot of resistance, so up to 100 divisions, less than 1,000 pony power. Alright, alright, I think we can do this. Look, like we'll be taking out a lot of land. Yeah, this is a really bad time to be at war with the NCR. Holy crap, this is really bad. But it's not that unsalvageable. Here, we could keep doing that. Let's go grab some of this. Airbase raids. Come on, take a zero hold. How much more do we need? And we're holding them off here, relatively okay-like. Yeah, we'll, we'll get these guys. We'll get them. Enslaved Conquered Peoples. We've got 19,000 slaves. Let's do some of that. We'll do some of that. Very nice. Oof. New candle lot. They got it back again. Are you kidding me? Come on. Take it. Get rid of these guys. Oh, you can't even beat them there. Single Pegasus Project. Reports have just come in from the Canterlot Expedition. We, they've been successful in the breaching of the MAW Central Hub. Its defenses have been disabled and the data has been recovered regarding the Single Pony Project. From what we can tell, the towers involved in the project seem to have been built to allow a single pony to control the weather all across Equestria from just a single point. We're not quite certain where this point is yet, but we believe we can figure it out if just given a bit of time. A weather control system, you say? Now, a new unity. The Lightbringer has decided to join the new unity. The Lightbringer has died. Hmm. I guess we'll have to wait and see. That might be glitched. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe the new Unity actually has to live. But we'll find a way to get that one done. So we might not be able to go down here anymore. But by the tomorrow's episode, we probably will be. This is settling the wasteland. Much of the wasteland is barren and devoid of pony life. We have the means to change this through settlement initiatives. Sending both willing and unwilling ponies to those lands that have gone largely untouched un or untouched by the light of civilization since the war. Good. We got that back. Cut these guys off. 
Oh, man. Hey, we can circle them here. Nice. Very good. Soldiers are doing quite well. The back poof. This is just like trying to capitulate Kaiser's Legion in Old World Blues. There's so much you have to take. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's go to the back poof, everyone, together for victory. So we've killed off almost 70,000 of them. Hmm. So we finally got them, huh? I'll probably end up taking everything. I don't know if, it, if our puppet has anything down there that they would really want, so... There's that group. Oh, that Palooza. Not bad. Has a claim. They have a claim on it. Maybe there's an event we can give them that territory. So you guys are done. And you all are going to help attack in the south. And to Navarro. Nice. At this point, it's time to begin an assault. On Navarro. And please don't tell me that this is glitched. Oh boy. Never change, Hoi 4. Never change. Settling the wasteland. Let's go and root out some resistance down here. Thank you. And new schools. The future of the foals of this great nation are our first and foremost concern. We must seek to provide them a proper upbringing with a proper education so that someday they may contribute towards restoring harmony across all the land. Anything else here? Restore the Sparkle Cola Company. During the war, the Ministry of Arcane Sciences found itself constantly in the need of increasing funding. There simply wasn't enough bills or bits for them to pursue many of their pursuits, something that was a constant hindrance to their efforts. As a solution to this problem, they devised a brilliant idea. They had quickly established a soda company. Sparkle Cola quickly became one of the most widespread and beloved beverages in Equestria, and the influx of bits was more than enough to fund the military's or ministry's pursuits. Perhaps we could do something similar today. Oh, yes. Sounds, looks good. Looks very, very good. All right, at this point, let's go and change this up a little bit. So, we're going to have one major force down in the south here, in which we're all just going to go wee into their bodies, or their lands, I should really say. Maybe not their bodies, but hey, maybe their bodies. And you guys get rid of those guys there, thank you. And you all just come right here. And have a good time. Everyone attack. No problems. Hopefully not too many issues. Stern, do you have any upgrades? Yes, you do. It could be inspirational. We already have Savage Leader. Inspirational it is. Thank you. Alright, equal whip. Bloody mess. Well, let's go with local leader. Not bad. Losses, we can't really tell. Base tools. And glass and steel. Very cool. Wow, you're just roaming through there quickly. Ain't ya? Why are you all headed that way? Is it? Aren't you supposed to go like that way there? Alright, looks like we have them under control. How many people have we lost in the past 12 months? Only 2,000. Savage, or Salvage Destroyed Power Armor, huh? Also, there was another comment from yesterday saying that we should play as Vlanius' cohort in Old World Blues. I will, eventually. Not sure when, but I will. I promise that. Well, since this is a little unable to be done right now, which I'll pro what we probably have to do is attack these people down here that killed off the Unity, and then probably just let her just do whatever she wants. So we'll probably go to war with Ponyville Raiders next. Uh, but we got other things we can do in the Focus Street real quick. I'm going to keep going down. Let's do the Cathedral first. When Stable 101 refused to help bring about the future, they gave up any right they might have had of being part of that future. In their place, the mighty cathedral was built from within the cathedral's walls. Countless ponies that are fantastically loyal to Red Eye's vision work towards making this dream into a reality. Slightly more construction speed, but that's fine with me. Ravage new lands. Press into service. Why not? We're going to lose some organization. So be it. It is what it is. Let's finish these folks off. Or these... Autumn Leaf Soldiers. Oh, that's only 10 days. Wow. That is not bad. A lot of fighting. A lot of fighting. How is the air damage over here? 18? Yeah, we're still doing a good amount. That is so fast. Holy smokerinos. The good old army. No caps to worry about. Airbase raids. Actually, you know what? I've ignored this for too long. Let's get some better Talon stuff. Surprised no one has told me yet to, to, to focus more on race based technology. Earth ponies, yes, please. We do have five research slots, so why not, right? Why not? Oh, very good. And actually, at this point, I don't need you down here. Come over here. And we'll go ahead and have a good time with you guys. Not bad. The cathedral. Sweet dreams are no longer fulfilled. 
and we shall do Disciples of the Cathedral. The Disciples are read as most devoted and fanatical followers. They all know their place within his great plan, and they're all more than willing to do their part towards helping restore Equestria. They even go so far as to preach his words to the masses, desperately trying to convince them that the world will be a utopia once more if every pony just does their part. Slightly more research speed, plus five more weekly pony power. Not bad. So much more... If, oh, we need oh, 12,000. Holy crud, Arunos. That's a lot. Well, boom, 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 boom. build up a lot of them factories because we're gonna need a lot of this stuff too. I can imagine resistance is probably getting fairly high here. Uh, it's actually not too bad yet. It's not too bad. Thirty-six percent new Meraway, but other than that, I'm not really too worried about it. Talons divisions. All right, who has legionaries? Oh my goodness. Oh unicorns, mage companies. Oh, that's true. Organization recovery rate. I probably want more organization. 10% more breakthrough. HP is not bad. Griffin recruits. Why not? And we have done it, my friends. Navarro is gone, which I will play as Navarro sometime. Who knows? Maybe they're next in this world of Balefire Blues. I think we've done very well there. Very, very well. I need to reach to find these guys. It's going to take oh, 75 days now, man. Oh, man. It's fine. Whatever. Uh, meek little slave, the destruction of the Grand Pegasus Enclave has thrown a serious wrench into our master plan. Without autumn leaf, we must look into our own territory for a suitable Pegasus. Thankfully, the rumor of a Pegasus slave in Philly turned out to be true. A rural wasteland born Pegasus, living within Philadelphia. Right, I could hardly believe that such could have been the case, but the evidence was right before his eyes. Crouched down before him lay a Pegasus, a coward. Bruised and malnourished Pegasus, but a Pegasus nonetheless. Little did his little Pegasus know, all the struggles would soon be a thing of the past. He would see to it that the young Murky was cleaned up and kept safe from the horrors of Philadelphia. After all, it wouldn't do for a future member of Unity to die before he could ascend. Little Murky will be given salvation. Watch out for spies, and steal some technology. Why not? Why not? There we go. This episode of the Cathedral. And cyber dogs. I want them doggos. The eccentric and ethically questionable Doc Slaughter's always had a strong fascination with two things: cybernetics and dogs. With well, the resources at, it, at our disposal, we were able to fund his efforts to combine those two interests into one in a way that could be beneficial for our own efforts across the equestrian wasteland. We got so much political power. More entrenchment, entrenchment speed, earth pony sappers. Yes, please. I guess next up we'll get some. We have closed borders. Political advisor, alicorn slavers, construction speed. Oh, we don't have the cathedral anymore. Do we not? Are we have disciples. Oh, is that a. Huh, so we lost some political power because we couldn't get this because we don't have the cathedral, the natural spirit. We have the disciples of the cathedral. Huh. Well, okay, that's a little disappointing, but you know, whatever. Construction speed cap. Well, this hurts the factories, but we get more construction speed and with the population. Protege is something we want to, you know, encourage, right? So we'll promote Protege. We should be able to go to war very soon, too. So, oh. Press any service, don't mind if we do. And we'll finish our land auction with Unending Offensive. More breakthrough and max speed. Awesome. I love it. Up next, we'll probably do Town. Tower workshops. Right now, the towers of the castle of the two sisters are currently going unused. This space could be better utilized through creating workshops that can help uh, supply guns to our soldiers. While we're at it, we'll also go ahead and add an anti air cannon to one of them. If nothing else, we can use it to kill any Ursa majors that get too close. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There we go. Glass and steel. Resource efficiency gain. Let's grab some more prop rotation. And since we have all these people under us already. We will use some dogs. Uh, let's see. I will probably do most of this off-screen, actually, so... There you go. That's good enough for now. Another goods factory. Why not? And we're doing that. Very good. Griffin recruits. Don't mind if we do. And... Right here. Highest standards. Very good. Actually, how many factories do we have? We're 38 out of that much. We're needing oh, quite a bit less. Doggos? We still might use doggos. Maybe. Let's see what happens. Let's go and go to war with these guys. Now they do attack us. Yes, they do. Why wouldn't they? Go and do that too? Sure, why not? Do we have any extra planes? We might have some planes. Oh, yeah, we do. Raptor cloud stuff, huh? Go ahead and let them deploy. Oh, and we're losing a few divisions here. Go ahead and attack them. Oh, gosh darn it. I actually have to call you guys in. You're too, you guys are too weak to do anything here? Seriously? 
Yeah, they are. Wow, I lost quite a few divisions then. That is a that is incredibly disappointing. I thought you guys guys would be a little bit tougher, but I guess not. Oh well, live and learn. Did I not give you orders? I did not give you orders, did I? Are they fighting someone else? Governor Cypher Schools? Well, you know what? We just make more divisions that way then. Nope. Nope. Alicorn, Alicorn. Talons. Actually, Talons. Oh, uh, sure. Go right on ahead. And when you get there, just pile drive them. That's my fault. I lost too many divisions that way. And that's so glad we can't even see that. <clears throat> Alright then, and the ever free road. Traveling through the ever free forest is far from a pleasant experience. The terrain itself is hard to navigate. Made even worse by the forest's magical qualities and many dangers lurking within. This state of affairs can't continue. We shall begin a large effort to clear away as much of the forest as possible through a liberal application of flame of fuel. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah, Alicorn, I should have had more supplies on them. The other soft attack's not very good. Huh. Of course, then again, it's only one template of that stuff. And the break is not bad. Defense, pretty bad, so it's my fault. My bad! But at this point, with Navarro under us and such like that, I don't think we'll have too many problems. Alright, so let's see if we can fix this by having. Where is Unity? Something down at the bottom? Nope. Casey Colt. Navarro. Oh, wait, does, is this not. Oh, maybe it's over here. Oh, yeah. Fine. Alright, then I'll need to let time go on. Government's after schools. Multi purpose equipment. It's fine. You guys go right there. You all go. Is that it? That's probably not very good for us right there. Hmm. Right there. And U24 end up going there. Something like that. I don't know. Flexible designs, why not? And then we'll do Uno, Dos, Tres, Quattro. Good. Good. An empty abyss. A miner stands alone, staring down at what was once his livelihood. Today, there will be no such work detail, no harsh whip of a slaver sent by Red Eye to ensure maximum productivity, no, lo no long work shifts spent deep underground in conditions far from ideal. No, there'll be no mining today done, for the deep had run out of treasure to a share. The deep which had provided so much to the ponies of April Grove for so long, the deep which had their entire town once thrived from, the deep which had also brought them wealth and prosperity, now lay devoid of wealth, devoid of resources. Nothing more could be extracted, nothing more could be mined. After 200 years of mining, the deep had finally run dry. Tomorrow, more slaves will be arrived, and the ponies of April Grove will be put to work on other projects, forced to labor away for the rest of their now meaningless lives. Some would at least be fortunate enough to remain within what was once their land. The less fortunate shift away to die within the walls of Philadelphia. The miner steps forward, Plunging into the abyss below. It's given all it had to give. We get a core on the deep. Good. Nice. We get a core. I like cores. Pony sappers. Dispersed training. Uh, special forces. Special forces. Uh, we'll do this one. Combined telekinesis. Cool. Awesome. The Ever Free Road, and we'll do Boomtown's Slave Pits. Boomtown is hardly what we consider a prospering settlement. It was actually built as a mega spell testing site during the Great War, but the test planned to be conducted there never happened before the end of the world. A bit over a century later, a group of scavengers settled down in the testing site, and Boomtown was properly founded. Unfortunately, its origins led to it lacking any sort of industrial foundation. Though the residents managed to create a few small workshops before we showed up, they are nowhere near large enough to suit our needs. To solve this problem, we shall put the town's entire population to working to work building and then build working in new factories. Cool. Also, that was another comment from yesterday. I said, like, I got a nuke. They're not nukes in this mod. They're called mega spells. Mega spells. Incoming raid. Urgent news have come from Frizzland, one of our border states, from the rain raiders again. Gosh darn it. Well, I don't trust you guys anymore. Um... I really gotta get rid of these guys, don't I? Nine, eight. Can I get there in a week? Probably not. Unending offensive, great. Special attacks. Well, we're doing that already. Pony attacks. Let's grab some advanced telekinesis. Yes, please. Three, two, one. Yeah, our guys are definitely not gonna be able to get there. Oh, oh, hold on. We might. Oh, nope. Manufactory destroyed. Gosh darn it. That's so dumb. Oh, uh, you guys go over there. There you go. 
Uh, we gotta take them out. Crop rotation, not bad. Have you guys train if they need it and do some irrigation. Goods factories. There we go. Let's go. Highest standards. And then some Talon Division 3s. Yes, please. Boomtown Slave Pits. And we'll do some Settle the Back Country. Much of the hinterlands is simply devoid of any settlements. This creates a problem when it comes to moving supplies, ponies, and resources across that land. To help with this problem, we shall pay ponies to go into these areas and create proper settlements. Good, 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 good. And we're doing a pretty good job so far. I mean, we can continue to manually do stuff against these guys if we really wanted to. It doesn't really matter. And I like the conflict, so... Very nice. The capital will be ours. Inflexible designs. Unity was over there too. Maripony. Let's grab some part standardization. It's fine with us. Black Claw has done a very great job so far. Would you like to come to the capital? Thank you. Come again. Thank you. Now, can we release this place yet? Oh, ten pony tower to clear one friendship city. Hey, seed walkers, I'm not seeing it yet. Maybe we'll group to our west, actually. Uh, Frisian tribes. Yeah, it must be to our west. That's right. Settle the back country. And mind the Iron Cliffs. The Iron Cliffs are known as such because they were once home to Equestria's most productive iron mines. Unfortunately, these mines were closed well before the end of the war. However, we believe that we have identified numerous ore deposits that are untapped. With a bit of effort, we could bring the mines back into fully operational condition. Very nice. At this point, because we're just flying, and by the time you guys get over here, we should be ready to go. Get over here. Thank you. Good, 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 good. Abu? Abu Dhabi? No? Okay. Very nice, very nice. Rebuild the Sunrise Highway, huh? Sunrise. Seems like a place we gotta get. Combat Telekinesis. Improve Spellbooks. Yes, please. Mine the Iron Cliffs. Halfway done. And we'll be done 20-ish days. Oh, well, time to go to war. And again, when are we not going to war, so... And then you, these guys are next. Gorge Town. 25 days, wow. Nice, 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 nice. More talons, please. Thank you. Uh, if you want to join, that's fine with me. I don't really care. Mine the Iron Cliffs, followed by Forest Clearing. West of Philadelphia lies a vast red forest. Though it is nowhere near as hostile as the ever free forest, it is still a pain to move through. Fortunately, it wouldn't be difficult to clear away large sections of the forest, especially with the use of slave labor. We could even use the lumber to build new workshops. Advanced telekinesis. Man, so much telekinesis. I love it. Let's grab some matrix repair. Part standardization. Recycling, why not? And froggy bot bottom bog. Fraga Fraga Renos. Uh, boom boom. More slaves, please. Oh, do we lose about here? Just go on in, guys. Come on. I could probably stop making so many divisions. Boom boom. There you go. Thank you, bog hoppers. Nice irrigation. Very good. Industrial fertilizer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There you go. We'll be able to go to war hopefully very soon. There's a bunker or something like such down there. Let me guys come over here too. That's alright. And Talon Division 4. Not bad. Led by Little Wave. Wow, look at that beard. Wow. Land Night Attack. Get more recon. We'll get some uh, gun nuts. Nerd Rage is okay. He's hot blooded too. Oh, it's camera line though. That sucks. Alright, let's go ahead and do reinforce Fort Carmine. Overlooking Boomtown is a military base known as Fort Carmine. The fort has been seen better days, but it won't be too difficult to renovate it to serve as both an industrial hub and as a military outpost within the region. Not bad. Now, we don't have to raise up conscription level anymore because that would be very bad for us. Actually, if you go down, you get more construction speed and stability. That ain't bad. But we already have 100%, so. Research, research advisor, two and a half every day. Robotics, we're not really needing robotics. We're already doing this already. Research food. Well, we're actually going to go with Doc Slaughter just because, even though we don't need robotics research realistically, it's still nice to get. I mean, we'll research it eventually once we run out of things to do anyway, so. And we'll end our episode by conquering the enemy nation here. We got one, two. Well, actually, let's just do boom, boom, boom. And boom, boom. Boom. There we go. 
Mm, air stuff. More ground attack, why not? And since we're justifying people anyways, we must just do them because it's so fast to do it. So, and there we go. Let's see what happens. I want to see how much air damage we're doing, actually. None yet. That's fine. Any air damage? Not too much. No. Improved spell books. How we'll get some professional training of application of magic. Followed up with Flatlander knowledge. The ponies of the Flatlands are well educated in matters of both farming and mining. Perhaps we could hire a few of them to share their expertise with us. Why not? Not bad. I think we're doing pretty darn well so far in this uh, campaign. Which leads me to say this next. There's probably only one more episode. I mean, we could probably get through the rest of the focuses in the last episode of this campaign. But that's where we're going to end it today. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, when we'll probably take out, hopefully, everyone else and have a good time doing so. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.